Hello and welcome to part 2 of uh, the skin tutorial for Assetto Corsa. This time we're gonna be making basic stickers, placing them, maybe making a layer style for all the stickers at one time, so we don't have to do it multiple times. Um, arching decals, so we bent them over the wheel arches or maybe to fit this or if you want to do windows it's a good idea to do them like here and bend them like this the window flows um, and uh, we're gonna build a DDS and I'm gonna show some options for saving but uh, let's begin by getting this ninja guy into the skin. You can see he has some water markings that we don't want to appear, so we're gonna basically recreate um, this guy on a new layer. So um, we'll press here to make a new layer and uh, get the magic wand. And let's uh, put, give him 100% tolerance. And this will basically select all the black in the image. Oh. Select your layer and uh, basically right click and uh, fill and use the foreground color. And uh, you have pretty much made your first sticker. Now, when doing this, the edges don't get so crisp as if you were using the pen tool, but um, this is good enough. Oh, shit. This won't do at all. These X's will go away when you downscale the sticker on the car. And um, what I did to make them less visible was I, when I magic wanted the blacks once, I hold down shift and I do it again. Um, so the effect of the magic wand kind of adds up. Maybe it would be better if we did it with tolerance set to 250 let's try that that's by the way the max tolerance that Photoshop will allow oh, see that's that's too much because now we're getting a lot of the dirty interference with the picture so let's keep it 200 and press it double go to your new layer and once again fill now you want to get this guy into the uh, car now and what you're basically going to do is hold down control and press the picture of him here and then control control c uh, control plus c and uh, that will copy the guy or you can go to edit and copy the shortcuts are here by the way but then you're going to want to paste so you can edit and paste or you can control V now we've got a ninja on the car so press control T to get the free transform tool and place the guy and rotate him any kind of way you want oh. hold down shift to get snap on angles and um, to keep the aspect when you resize. Now again always go down because you don't want to lose quality on the edges. This is pretty, still pretty smooth. So 
So put this guy in. That's pretty much basic stickers and sticker placement. Now let's uh, get some color change, maybe a stroke or a shadow or something on this guy. Add uh, a layer style by pressing here with your layer selected. We're gonna move this down here. To rename layers, double click the layer one here and just type in whatever you want. Call it a ninja man. And uh, press here blending options. We'll open this little menu and you can add a stroke. Um, let's mark it and uh, you can select the size of set stroke I'm gonna go with 4 and give him a, give it a color maybe 4 is too much it's better and you can do stuff like color overlay so you And get a color instead of the black. We're gonna use this by the way to get a layer style and multiple um, stickers. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a bit. Or drop shadow and you can put an angle here. Now I don't use global light for my uh, shadows because then you can't use different shadows and different uh, layers. And I never use size or spread. Make it white if you want. Instead of multiply, go to normal and opacity. That's a few tools to play around with too. Mm. Basically, I always skin with the, um, go find a car I want to make or um, find some some picture and use that. Um, paste it in, blend it into the car, and maybe put a tripod over it or, or something. But it, it helps to be creative or have something in mind you want to do. Right now I, I'm just pasting stuff in, so bear in mind. And I'm gonna include uh, this little sticker um, library I have acclaimed over some months. Um, I'm some Thing I'm not gonna include because I have handmade that so I kind of want to keep that to myself so but um, let's see we want to get something like this because this is something in one color so we can I can show you how to if you paste in a lot of stickers on your car and uh, you want to make them all one color with layer styles. Doing this by the way is pressing Control A and that selects all the layer. This uh, the size of the layer and pasting that in. Scaling down. Now with shift down you or control you can select multiple layers and you can merge these layers. Now I would suggest actually rotating and moving to the other side of the car if you're doing that. Um, simply select the layer you want to move 
right, right click it and duplicate the layer it will make an automatic copy also a nice thing to know is whenever you paste something new in it will automatically be created to a new layer so you don't mess up one layer already so don't worry about that and let's see now we have two nori yero logos i think that's it's that aussie guy that lives in japan right with the rotate tool you can rotate it you can align the, your stickers with the use of the wireframe I'm doing this by eye by the way because I don't really want to make this too long holding down shift when you move will lock it to an axis so you don't get uneven stickers if the UV map isn't aligned to the side it doesn't really matter then you gotta scale it to the other axis as well. Now with these two layers you can merge them. They will become one layer. Now let's zoom out a bit so we can see both of them. Get the wireframe off. Press Ctrl I so they invert. And then you can just paste in an option do whatever you want now arching a decal is a free transform again like I said, it's probably one of the things you're gonna use the most. Oh, just got a text. That is amazing. I never get texts. Oh, it's an email. Now with free transform selected, you can press this guy. Then you can arch. I don't want to. God damn it. First, free transform and resize. Press this to apply it. Free transform again. And you wanna click this guy and arch. And then you can put in a bend. Like 5, 10, 120. If you put in a negative value, it would bend to the other side. And, and you can get opposite bending. So if you were arching this way for the hood. will change the or orientation of the... Oh, stop squeaking, dog! Um, it will change the orientation of the uh, bending. That's pretty nifty too. Now, let's... Uh Let's get the skin into AC. Yeah, it's a poor one, but it's for learning purposes. Let's go to save, and you want to save as. You want to find. Hmm. Oh, I know why. Let's just say I, I opened in a different version of Photoshop where I have um, stuff saved to something. Let's 
I have the DDS plugin installed too. So let's open up Photoshop CC. Bang. And let's save as DDS. And we're gonna use this name because this is the name this this mod uses to um, open the skin in the skin folder. So let's save. Now you're getting this with the NVIDIA DDS um, plugin. You're gonna wanna save it as DXT3 and with explicit alpha. Um, alpha layers, I don't really understand yet, but I'm learning a bit. So I'll make a tutorial on alpha layers later when I get a better grasp of, of them. But building the DDS file will take different amount of time on different amount of systems. Now we're done. Close this, close this. We have the DDS file here. And we're gonna open up a set of Corsa cars. Uh, we're gonna put it in the D, D spec car and open up skins. And you're gonna wanna make a new folder and put in lowercase test. And it's called one. Gonna make sure the, yeah. Move this in here because I want to get this. I'm gonna copy this over here. Holy crap! Now I'm gonna launch a Seto Corsa showroom launcher. I use this because I skin a lot, so um, D spec and oh, that's not. 